Determining distances using Cepheid variable stars. Here is a star field. See if you can locate the Cepheid variable star. Well, if you couldn't see that, the star is actually right here. Let's look at that more closely to determine the apparent brightness and how it varies with the time. Now that you've identified the Cepheid variable star in this star field, let's take the time to use this brightness tool here that you'll see me drag over the Cepheid variable star, and you can make a table of the brightness and time to then graph to determine the period of the Cepheid variable star. Ready? Go. Next, from your data table, construct a graph of brightness versus time using the Graphical Analysis app. Here's what it looks like on your iPad. Then recall that Henry and Aswan Levitt noted there was a direct relationship between the period of a Cepheid and its luminosity. Please consult her work in Figure 3.3 to find the luminosity and then to finally calculate the distance to the galaxy the Cepheid is in.